What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones Season 8 discussion video. This video is going to be a little bit different than what I usually do. I want to talk about the Crypts of Winterfell because this has always been one aspect of the story that fascinates me. But I am not necessarily going to be predicting anything myself because I have already done that in a previous video about this subject. What I want to do is discuss some other very interesting things about the Crypts and I want to see what all of you have to say about these things. Personally, I have always felt that the Crypts of Winterfell would come into play in terms of the endgame, but with only six episodes left in the television show, I'm not exactly sure what they can do at this point. I can obviously make a few guesses, but I would rather discuss several of the potential scenarios the show could go with, then I want to see what all of you think is most likely to happen. There are some really cool theories out there about the Crypts of Winterfell, but I think most of them are pertaining to the books. But even though there is only six episodes left, I still feel like the Crypts can be useful when telling the ending of this story in the TV series. At the very least, there could be something really cool down in those Crypts, but if they're going to take us back down there one last time, what purpose can it serve now? When Season 8 begins, we are finally going to have all of the Starks back in Winterfell for the very first time since Season 1. But not only will all of the remaining Starks be there, but so will Daenerys and her dragons, and if there is one thing we all know about the dragons is they seem to make magic a hell of a lot stronger. So there is no telling what kind of crazy shit could awaken down there in those crypts, if anything at all. Winterfell itself is shrouded in mystery, but the crypts that lie beneath the castle are even more mysterious, and all of the Starks have this strange connection with them. And George R.R. R. Martin has left all these breadcrumbs throughout the books that let us know this is a very special place for the Starks. And it's not just because this is where they keep their loved ones after they have passed. There is a much bigger secret down there just waiting to be revealed, which I believe George will do in one of the last books. But I am really curious if whether or not we will get a taste of this in the final season. It would be the perfect time to do this in my opinion, considering everyone will be there together. I am pretty confident we will get at least one more scene down there, but maybe even more. When John arrives in Winterfell, he's going to learn about his true parents from Bran. And knowing John, he's going to want to return to the crypts to see his mother Lyanna. And he will probably go down there and see Ned again too and just think about how he had kept this a secret this entire time to protect him. But if you have not read the books, then you might not know this, but John has always had this very strong connection with the Crips. John used to have dreams about them all the time, and John had dreamt that he was wandering the empty castle, searching for his father, while descending into the Crips. Only this time, the dream had gone further than before. In the dark, he'd heard the scrape of stone on stone, and when he turned, he saw that the vaults were opening, one after another as the dead kings came stumbling from their cold black graves. Now that is a very creepy dream to have, and it must have some meaning to it. John had another dream that he was down there, but this time he was limping past the stone kings on their thrones. Their gray granite eyes turned to follow him as he passed, and their gray fingers tightened on the hilts of their rusted swords upon their laps. John could hear the dead kings telling him that he is not a Stark, and they would tell him there is no place for him in the crypts, he should go away, but something is calling to John down there. There are many levels within the crypts, and the one that interests me the most is the lowest level of them all. There is a section of the crypts that is in complete darkness, and it's partially collapsed. I have always felt like something might be in there, and it could be the thing that has been calling to John all of these years. Personally, I always associated these dreams with John's lineage, or parents I should say. When John would have dreams of being down there in the dead kings of winter telling him he doesn't belong there and that he's not a Stark, this may have been telling us the truth about John. The dead kings of winter were right, which we found out these last two seasons of the show. John is not a Stark, but he's a legitimate Targaryen, and the crypts of Winterfell are meant for Starks only, but not all Starks. Technically speaking, Lyanna Stark should not have been down there, but Ned did it anyway, and there are several theories revolving around Lyanna's statue that is down there, and it could come into play during the final season. Some people say there might be some kind of artifact or proof about Jon Snow's lineage inside of Lyanna's statue. Some say Ned may have put Rhaegar's harp inside of her statue, while others say Sir Arthur Dane's sword Dawn might be inside there as well, which could end up being Lightbringer. Considering it is already a very special sword that is said to have been made out of a fallen star, which both form House Dane's sigil. 
Ned said he returned the sword to Starfall, but Sir Arthur Dane's sister, Ashara Dane, allegedly committed suicide shortly after this, and her dead body and the sword hasn't been seen since, so who knows? There is no telling what Ned may have taken from the Tower of Joy and put inside of Leona's statue in the crypts. I did believe there was something inside of her statue, but now I have to ask myself, are they really gonna do this at this point? Does John need to find something down there to believe the truth about his parents? Because I don't see why John wouldn't believe Bran when he tells him what he saw during his flashback. Plus, I'm sure Sam will confirm this by showing John the journal that was kept about Rhaegar's annulment and his new marriage. But let me ask all of you this. Do you believe there is something inside of Lyanna's statue waiting for John? And if so, what do you think it is? If there isn't anything inside of her statue, then do you believe there is something in the crypts at all, waiting for John to find it? Perhaps in the lowest level of the crypts that are partially collapsed. I do think there is a very strong possibility something is down there. Some people also believe there might be a dragon or dragon eggs under Winterfell. One of the main reasons people believe this theory is because there was once a dragon in Winterfell many years ago when the Pact of Ice and Fire was established. This was an alliance made between Houses Stark and Targaryen during the Dance of Dragons. At the time, Prince Jacaris of Dragonstone flew on his dragon Vermax to Winterfell to meet with Krieg and Stark. And while he was there, many people believe Vermax may have laid eggs within the crypts of Winterfell. Even some of the small folk of the north have been known to say that the hot pools are heated by a dragon living under the castle. Personally, I kind of find it hard to believe a dragon is living under there because it would have to come out and eat at some time and people would notice a dragon flying around Winterfell eventually. But dragon eggs being down there is a little bit more plausible, but still a bit of a stretch. But I have always found it very interesting that Winterfell was built over natural hot springs. The water is piped through the walls and chambers to heat them, which makes Winterfell a hell of a lot more bearable in the wintertime. It's genius for many reasons, but could there be a deeper meaning to this? Perhaps a bigger purpose? Bran the Builder is the one who built Winterfell, and he also built the wall. I think there might be a specific reason why he chose this exact location to build crypts deep into the ground. There is another theory that I want to talk about because I find this one very intriguing, and this theory kind of influenced my theory about why I think the Great War will end in Winterfell. Ever since I started to talk about the Night King being defeated in Winterfell, many of you have asked me about the Dead Kings of Winter having any kind of role in this. Well, there is a theory that states the Crypts of Winterfell are actually a prison that Bran the Builder had built to contain the Great Other, or more specifically the Night King. This is more of a book theory because in the books, George R.R. R. Martin has more or less stated that the Knight's King we know today isn't the same Knight's King that was the 13th Lord Commander of the Knight's Watch, which means there has been more than one Knight's King over the centuries. Most of you already know why I believe the Stark's Castle is called Winterfell. I think this is where the King of Winter, or the God of Winter, literally fell from power. The name of the castle is kind of a reminder that this is where the Night King had been defeated before. This is where the King of Winter for many generations ago had fell, but over time the meaning of the name Winterfell had been forgotten. Another interesting way to look at this is why are the older Starks in the crypts called the Kings of Winter? Could it be because they are the ones that were needed to defeat the Night King, the person who brings the storm and the long night? Unless some of those Kings of Winter and the Crypts are all former Knights Kings that were defeated and locked up down there. This is why the Starks were always warning people that Winter was coming. These words lost their true meaning over time. Just like the name of their castle, Winterfell lost the meaning of its name over time. But it all relates to the Night King. And like I have said before, this is why a Stark must always remain in Winterfell. They are the only ones who hold the true power over the others. What is very interesting though is when Winterfell was actually built, Bran the Builder constructed the castle and its crypts right after the others were defeated. Legend says that Brandon the Builder raised Winterfell after the generation-long winter known as the Long Night. That could be a clue as to why Brandon the Builder made the crypts of Winterfell right after the Long Night had ended. This cavernous vault, which is longer than Winterfell itself, has several levels to it, with vaults even deeper and darker where the older kings were buried. And don't forget about the section that is partially collapsed where no one has been. 
That could be the location of the Knight's King that was defeated during the Long Night. That could be where the original King of Winter resides. And this may be why Brandon the Builder decided to build this over the natural hot springs. That does sound like a good place to keep the Gods of Winter in prison for eternity, but you know what's even crazier? Even though Winterfell is built over natural hot springs, the crypts are always still very cold. When Ned takes Robert down here to see Lyanna, the book references how Robert was shivering in the subterranean chill, because it was always cold down there. If you have something basically made of ice locked up down there, then it could explain why it's always so cold down there. But there was also something Ned Stark used to dream about that could be another clue as to what's really going on. While Ned was in King's Landing, he dreams of the Crypts of Winterfell, and he envisions the Kings of Winter watching him with eyes of ice. Those last three words always jumped out at me. When Ned saw the Kings of Winter in his dreams, they had eyes of ice. There is only one other thing that comes to my mind when I think of eyes of ice, and that's the Great Other. I'm sure this theory probably sounds very wacky to some of you, but it really makes a lot of sense to me. They might not go in this direction in the show, but for the books it seems very plausible. There are way too many connections between the Starks and Winterfell and Bran and the Builder and the Night King or Night's King for me to dismiss this theory. I think it would be incredible if this was one of the big reveals, but it's just my opinion and you can certainly disagree with me if you want to. Regardless of how it ends, I do believe there is one more big secret that lies within those crypts and I am leaning towards us getting another big reveal in the final episodes. But let me know what you think about any of this down below in the comment section. I have to thank you all for watching this video, especially if you made it this far, and I hope you did, otherwise most of what I said will not make much sense. But in my opinion, I believe the crypts have more to do with the others and the Night King than any other theory out there, considering how much evidence has been put forth in the books. Winterfell was built immediately after the Long Night ended, and it was built by the same person who built the Wall. I think this is where the Night King had fallen during the war, and he may have been imprisoned in the crypts to ensure he didn't get free again. It would explain why this location was chosen right over the natural hot springs. It would kind of counteract the magic the Night King has over the ice. And if he was in the crypts, it would also explain why they are always so cold, even with the hot water rushing through the walls of the castle. Maybe the Starks have other magic besides warging that helps keep any of the others in prison down there, and that's why a Stark must always remain there. Or it's just because a Stark can stop the Night King from taking over Winterfell and freeing whatever is down there. And of course, the Starks always have dreams about the crypts, and I think Ned's dream may be very telling when he says he saw the dead king staring back at him with eyes of ice. It makes a lot of sense to me, but maybe I am just crazy. Let me know what you think, though. Does Winterfell or its crypts have any significance to you? And do you think they will serve any purpose in the end? Put all your thoughts, questions, and opinions down below. Thank you for watching, and thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.